What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel, Keto with Sammy. For today's video, we have a delicious dessert. Today we're going to be making these Keto Strawberry Cupcakes with the butter frosting. They are perfect for the summer. Everybody will absolutely love these, so let's get straight into the video. All right guys, for our ingredients to get started on these Keto Strawberry Cupcakes, of course, you are going to want one thing of some fresh strawberries. For our butter, I'm going in with Irish butter, but you can go ahead and go in with unsalted stick butter. You're going to need a good amount of this, two large eggs. We have two flour replacements that we're gonna go in with. First flour replacement, we are going to be using some coconut flour as well as some almond flour. You're going to want some vanilla, just some vanilla extract, and as well as another sweetener we're going to be going in with is some liquid stevia sweet sweetener. You could use monk fruit as well. Just some regular salt, baking powder, and our other sweetener is going to be a confectioner sugar. So this is the powdered kind. This one is by Swerve, but whatever brand works for you. This ingredient is optional. It is just some pink food coloring. This just makes your cupcakes more pink, more strawberry looking, so you can definitely go in with this if you'd like to. And before I forget, you are also going to need a granular sweetener of your choice. All right guys, first thing we're gonna go ahead and do, I'm going to prepare my station. We are going to rinse these strawberries and we're going to chop them up. We're gonna cook them down. We're gonna make a nice strawberry glaze over the stove. So let's get started. So instead of moving on to my stove top, I got this portable cooking top a while back that I have yet to use, especially during this hot summer days. I don't really wanna go over the stove, so this is going to come in handy. I'll link this below if y'all wanna check it out, but today we're just gonna be cooking my strawberries over this. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. You do have to use stainless steel equipment, so I'm gonna go in with a stainless steel pot, and this is going to go ahead and cook through or heat through while we go ahead and chop up our strawberries. So I have rinsed my strawberries and we're just going to simply chop them up because we are going to cook them down. I'm gonna go ahead and chop off the ends, cut them in half, and you can just simply cut them into fours, into bite-sized pieces. Just like this, and then repeat until you're done. Okay, we have got all of our strawberries nicely fine and diced just like this. Now we're gonna go ahead and add them into our pot and we are going to cook this down. I'm just gonna turn this down a bit so they don't burn. I'm still trying to work with this thing. I don't know what the temperatures are yet, so I gotta play around with it. But you just wanna go ahead and heat these through in a medium size, I'm in medium heat. We're gonna keep stirring these around just to ensure nothing sticks. So while you're cooking your strawberries, you wanna go ahead and stir them every few minutes. You're gonna let them cook down. You're gonna see the juices release from your strawberries. You're gonna start smashing them a, be a bit and you're gonna to wanna to make kinda of like a nice strawberry jam. It'll take a few minutes, so just play around with it. All right guys, after a few minutes of your strawberries cooking down, this is the way it should look. It's gonna be nice and chunky. You want it smooth, everything nice and cooked. And we're gonna go ahead and turn this off and we're gonna set this aside and as it cools off, it will further thicken. Take it off the heat and we're just gonna leave it right here. It smells really good. All right guys, next step, you wanna go ahead and get a smaller mixing bowl. And to our mixing bowl, we're gonna go ahead and start mixing in our flowers. You're going to want one cup of your almond flour. Got one cup of almond flour going into our bowl. For our coconut flour, you're going to add in two tablespoons. One and two. For our sweetener, you are going in with your granular sweetener. So this is going to be one fourth cup. 
whatever brand you like, I have the pure sweetener. One fourth cup to sweeten this up. Next will be our baking powder. You are going to add in half a teaspoon of baking powder. Last ingredient going in would just be some salt. You're going to add in a one fourth teaspoon. Then you wanna mix all these ingredients together. Make sure you break apart your almond flour, coconut flour, whatever kind of chunks you have in here. And go ahead and set these aside. These are going to be our dry ingredients. Now we're gonna go ahead and mix up our wet ingredients. All right guys, I have put out a larger size bowl. Now we're gonna start mixing our wet ingredients. First ingredient is going to be four tablespoons of melted butter. Go ahead and add this in. I like the Irish butter, it's nice and golden and it's really good. All right, next is going to be one teaspoon of vanilla. 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 Then you're going to add in two large eggs. Chicken babies. Oh no, I got a show in here. I gotta take it out. All right. And then it is going to be our liquid stevia sweetener. Whatever liquid sweetener that is keto approved, you can go ahead and use. We're gonna add in half a teaspoon. Then you're going to take your whisk and make sure you break all your eggs apart. Give it a nice little mix. These strawberries smell so good. These cupcakes are delicious. I'm so excited. Okay, now you're going to take your dry ingredients that we just mixed up with our flours and our baking powder and you are going to incorporate it into your wet ingredients. Go ahead and mix everything together and this is going to be our cupcake batter. We have to add one more ingredient or two more ingredients, I apologize. Now we need to add in these strawberries. So the strawberries that we just cooked down, you're going to add in half, because the other half we're gonna save for our icing. Ooh, that looks so good. Nothing like some fresh strawberries and some cupcakes to enjoy over the summer. I love me some strawberry cupcakes. Okay, that should be half. You're just going to incorporate these into your flour. Now, as you can see, it did turn a pink color, but if you do want it a little bit more pink, this is where the food coloring comes in hand. This is optional, you don't have to add this in, but I like to just to give it a nice pink color. I'm only gonna add very little, I don't want them too deep of a pink color. Add this in and then I'll mix it in and see if I need to add a little bit more. There you go. I think that'll do. And it gets a nice pretty pink color so you don't really see like the color of the almond flour. Alright guys and here is our cupcake strawberry batter. Now let's go ahead and pull out that cupcake tin. Okay, I have my scoop right here. I have my silicone muffin liner so nothing sticks. We're gonna go ahead and scoop this in. You wanna fill it to the top, but do not overfill because you don't want a mess, just like that. Two scoops in each. All right guys, I got my batter nice and divided. Now, depending on how much you fill these up, I made seven of the cupcakes. And once you have it divided, let's go ahead and bake these in our oven. You're going to want your oven preheated to 350 degrees. We're gonna pop in our cupcakes. And you are going to bake these for 20 minutes or until cooked all the way through. All right guys, after 20 minutes, your keto strawberry cupcakes should be completely cooked through. We're gonna go ahead and take these out. They should look something like this. They smell so delicious. My house smells like strawberry heaven. 
But now you wanna go ahead and set these to the side to cool off completely before we start frosting them. It's time to make our strawberry frosting to top off these delicious strawberry cupcakes. So first thing you're going to want is a bowl with a hand mixer. To our bowl, we're going to add in eight tablespoons of softened butter. Now add this in, all that buttery goodness. Then you're going to take your hand mixer and you're just going to whip this up until it's nice and smooth. Okay, after this is nice and smooth, you're going to take your Swerve Confectioner Sugar or whatever brand you have on hand. This is going to be the powdered kind. We're going to add in five tablespoons. After your five tablespoons, you're gonna go ahead and blend this into your butter. Okay, as you're blending, you should see your butter and your sweetener getting nice and thick. Now, a few more ingredients to add in. We are going to go in with one teaspoon of vanilla. Very little salt. You're just gonna add like a pinch will be one eighth teaspoon of salt. One more sweetener going in. It is going to be one teaspoon of our liquid stevia. We're gonna go ahead and blend all these ingredients together. If you need to, you can also go ahead and stop and scrape down your edges just to make sure you get all those ingredients incorporated. All right guys, and after you have all your ingredients blended, this is going to be our frosting. So now we're gonna go ahead and bring over our cupcakes and start frosting them up. Final steps to topping the strawberry cupcakes. We have our whipped cream that we just whipped up. I did put it in a piping bag just to pipe on my frosting, but you can go ahead and spoon it on however you like to. First thing, we're gonna go ahead and put this delicious frosting on. It don't have to be perfect, guys. I am not a baker, so <laughs> I do the best I can to make everything look pretty. And we are also going to top them with the strawberries, so they don't have to be perfect. Okay, last one. And that was the perfect amount of frosting for our cupcakes. Okay, last step for these cupcakes. You're going to take the strawberry topping that we cooked down earlier and just put a spoonful on top. You don't wanna to put too much to where it overflows and it gets all over the place just enough to have that delicious strawberry taste right on top. All right guys, and that is it. Here is the final result of our keto strawberry cupcakes. All right guys, let's go ahead and dig into one of these keto strawberry cupcakes. I just wanna show y'all what the inside of these look like. Now, using the silicone, they just pop right out, so I will link these below for y'all, but look at that. They held up just like a delicious, nice, regular cupcake, and they are nice and soft. We're gonna go ahead and bite right into it. Mmm, oh my God. Look at that, it is nice and soft on the inside. You get the fresh strawberries in the cake and the fresh strawberries on top with that nice butter frosting. These are absolutely delicious. I'm gonna finish it right now. Mm. Leave me, let me eat my cupcake. Mm. <laughs> All right guys, I tore up this cupcake for the sake of the video. It was delicious, but make sure you do keep these in the fridge. You do want them to hold up because it is a butter frosting and you don't want to melt it all over the place. But I hope y'all enjoy this awesome easy recipe.